Hey there, and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about how to lay out your HVAC duct systems. We'll be discussing what exactly HVAC systems are, as well as how to lay them out and their components. There are various components that go into an HVAC system, including the air terminals, and the mechanical equipment that runs it. You can also include ducts, flexible ducts, and in Revit, duct placeholders. You can also attach a variety of duct fittings and accessories, which we'll discuss later. So let's get started. First, we're going to generate the layout for the duct system that we created in the previous lesson. First, left-click on the mechanical equipment that you can see at the top of the screen, and then hold down the control key. While still holding the control key down, left-click on the four air diffusers that you see in the center of the layout. Once you've selected all the terminals that will go into your duct system, go up to the top of the screen, and from the Multi-Select tab, under the Layout panel, left-click on Generate Layout. Clicking on that button will cause a window to pop up that says Select a System. This will let you choose the type of system for which you want to create your layout. As you remember from the previous lesson, the system that we created was Mechanical Supply Air 32. Select this system by left-clicking on it and then pressing OK. This will have the effect of changing the ribbon at the top of the screen to what you see right now. This will create a potential duct system layout using duct placeholders. To see more potential layouts, click the arrows next to the Settings button above the viewing pane. Cycle through all the potential layouts until you find one that you're satisfied with for the purposes of your project. Then, from that same bar, click on the Settings button that we just mentioned. Another window will appear, called Duct Conversion Settings. You'll see two options in this window, one for the main duct and one for the branch ducts. If you click on Main, the screen will show some of its properties. In this case, it will supply air from the air handling unit to the four terminals. You have the option of changing some of the parameters that are listed. For instance, if you click on the Value option next to Duct Type, you can choose what type of duct you want to have put in. You can choose from two types of rectangular ducts, one mitered elbows taps, the other mitered elbows tees, or you can also choose round ducts. Besides the type of duct that you want to use, you also have the option of setting the offset for the duct. The branch option, meanwhile, has the same two options as main, but it also includes additional parameters that you can set. Flex duct type lets you choose whether you want to have a flexible duct for your branch. You can either choose one, or you can choose to keep it rigid. For our example today, we're going to choose none. We won't have a flexible duct type because the distance between the terminals and the main duct is very small. The maximum flex duct length parameter lets you set how long you're willing to let a flexible duct be. Right now it's set to 1800 millimeters, or 1.8 meters, but that will only come into play if we choose to incorporate a flexible duct. When you click OK, you'll be returned to the main screen. Note up at the top in the toolbar, you can select Remove from System, which will let you remove one of the air terminals if you decide you have too many. The same toolbar will let you place a base, 
or edit your layout by hand. Once you have chosen everything that you need for your duct system, and have made any changes that you feel are necessary, you can click the Finish Layout button with the green check mark, and your duct system will be finished. As you can see on my screen, the duct placeholders have been replaced with actual ducts, and we have a complete duct system. If you want to see this in 3D, go to the Project Browser, and under the HVAC heading, double-click on the 3D View option. This will let you view your duct system in all three dimensions. You can even scroll around, so you can make sure that your duct system is exactly what you wanted it to be. Alright, let's do a quick review of what we went over in this lesson. We talked today about how to generate the layout of a duct system, both manually and automatically. We also talked about how to edit the other components of the duct system. Thank you for watching.